To make my paper stand, I need feet or tabs. A tab should be about as thick as your finger. Now I have tabs on either side for feet for it to stand. If I want my paper to stand like this, my tab needs to go along the edge. It should be about as thick as my finger. Use a tool like a pencil or the edge of your scissors to make your fold sharp, your crease sharp. And that's one long foot, so my wall is leaning off to the side right now. I want my tabs to be about as wide as my finger, so I'm going to make a cut. Stopping when I meet the fold, my tab should go every other direction, like this. Paper quilling means rolling your paper into a curl. Use a tool, like a pencil, to roll your paper up with. Hold on to the paper as you roll. To make fringe, first you have to fold your tab about as wide or as thick as your finger. Use a tool to fold the crease sharp. And then with your scissors, you just make little slits all the way up to the fold. Then add glue to the tab that you folded. To make a loop, you just start with a square or a rectangular piece of paper and add glue to the top part. Make sure you press and rub to have the paper glued together well. Here I put several loops together just to see what it looked like. An accordion fold or a fan fold is when you have a strip of paper and you just fold up a little bit, keep flipping your paper over, folding more, flip it over, fold more, make sure the folds are all equal. A triangular prism is a triangle on the ends. Triangles have three sides. I take a strip of paper, I fold it over three times. Make sure to crease it really well. Using a tool helps. Cut off the extra. You're going to actually end up with four sections. That's when I take glue and I glue that extra section. I overlap it and it creates that triangle. A rectangular prism works the exact same way. I want to have a square on each end. So a square has four sides. I fold the strip of paper up over itself four times, making sure I crease it well with a tool, cut off the extra, add glue to that fifth section because a square only has four sides, and I overlap one on top of the other to create the prism. A cylinder is the shape of a cup. So I'm just creating a circular shape with my paper. You just add glue to one short side of your rectangle and roll it over itself. Make sure you're not squishing it when you're trying to have the glue stick. Instead, pinch the paper both on the inside and the outside. Now, I need to attach it to my paper somehow. To do that, I need to cut tabs or feet for it to stand. I'm making a mark with my pencil all the way around because I want the feet or the tabs to be the same size or cut the same distance up. Then all I need to do is fold out the tabs and I have a strong base for my cylinder to be glued down. Remember your tabs should be about as wide as your finger. Here's a tip to make it easier when you're gluing. Put your shape down on your base or your paper where you want to glue it and mark where your tabs are. Pick your shape up, move it to the side, and add glue inside that mark. A cylinder starts with a circle, so find a circle like a cup to trace. Do it on the edge of your paper that you're cutting and cut off all that extra stuff to make it a little easier. When I cut out a circle, I hold my scissors still and I turn the paper. Now I need to find the middle, so I'm going to kind of make a little taco. I call it a pinchy taco. Pinch the middle, that's it. Just make one little pinch in the middle so you're not folding it. I made a mark in the middle, it's easier. That's called the radius, halfway into your circle. And then I just overlap it and it creates that cone. Um, add some glue where you plan on overlapping and pinch in in the outside to create the cone shape. Now, just like the cylinder, I want it to be attached to the paper somehow, so I'm going to add tabs all the way around fold them out and I'll have a really cool strong base.
Next, I'm going to make a pyramid, which needs to start as a square. I have a rectangle here, so I'm going to turn it into a perfect square by folding the short side down to the long side of my paper and cutting off that extra. See, a square is just two equal triangles. You can see that right when I unfold it. I'm folding along the other side so that I have an X in the middle. I'm going to cut right to the intersection of that X one little snip from the corner to the middle and when I overlap it creates the prism. So that I can connect it to my paper or base I'm going to create tabs too. But this time I'm only going to make little snips right at the corners and fold one long tab along each triangle. To do that I hold it upside down and pinch to make the tab and then setting it on the table and kind of making a crease with my fingernail helps. It's a little easier to make that tab. To create a box, I'm folding up the walls on a square or a rectangular piece of paper. I just need to make sure that each wall is the same height. So you can see I'm kind of measuring with my finger each time I make that fold. Remember to use a tool to help you make the crease, like a pencil. Unfold it, and what you're going to do is make one little snip at the intersection of each fold. The intersection is where all the folds meet, so I marked them with a pen so you can see. I added glue to the squares on the corners, and when I meet the sides up, it creates the box. When you're putting away your glue, please turn it so the glue goes in a little below the rim and grabbing a wet wipe, wipe off the edge. Being a responsible artist so that you can use your tools more easily next time.